Hi guys. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. This is oh my god. Oh my oh my god. What? Do, do you guys see that? What? Oh my god. Mm. What? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Your girl is looking a pretty, pretty girl. Um, so welcome back to my channel, you guys. This is your girl Maggie. This is your girl Magdalene. Welcome back to my channel. I know I've been out. Okay, I've been off. I have been consistent, but we are back. And we are back with vibes and that's on period. We're back with another lit video. Today is just a vibe and said. So have so many things to do so many things to do for the day but we're gonna do things once the better time okay is that all right if you haven't subscribed to my channel guys let's just pause right now as i wait for y'all to click on the red button there return subscribe put on your post notification to get notified every time i post that's on period y'all yes so Today, guys, I thought let me just get us. Let me just make a sit down video. Talk about how I'm doing so far ever since coming here and the like. Guys, grab some tissues, grab some glasses of water, grab some snacks and sweets and whatever. Because we're gonna make this video um short. Let me just say that. Well, as all of you or most of you know, I'm in the UK and man it's been like three months now we are moving into the fourth month i guess yes april should be the fifth month so that's like that's like four months now yeah 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 yeah, yeah. The, um I, I was here with my first of of december and today is only the 18th of march so the fifth month yes so guys like i've said this is just a sit down video you catching up with me that's it nothing interesting nothing big i don't know if you'd like it but anyways just to support the girl child just click on the like button can you do that for me can you like do that for me pretty please okay thank you thank you so you guys are so kind oh my god oh dear i'm grateful thank you so much so right now i'm gonna get the trash to the trash can and you guys are coming along with me i have assignments i have so many things to do so we're gonna do things just once the better time like i've said so let's get into it <laughs>
right, guys. I just made sure, I just thought I should make this video just to share my experiences with um, transitioning. I mean, from moving from home to coming to a foreign place all alone, all by myself. It was quite an experience, guys. I don't want to lie. I cried most of the days. I really, really cried. And there were times I was just looking at my money and I'm like, fuck it. I'm just, excuse my language. I'm sorry. Let's just, let's just pretend like we've not used the F word. Can we? Hopefully, I'll remember to blip it when I'm editing the video. So, like I said, guys, it was a hard, hard, hard moment. The, the hardest moments of my life. As there were times I just wanted to go back home because I could not do it with this weather. I do not want to lie. So many things are frustrating me, like where I'm staying right now. This is the hospital accommodation. This is the accommodation that the hospital organized for me for literally three months. But then I wasn't the very best place to be, to be honest. I was sharing with people I did not know. And we're kitchening. We are sharing the kitchen, by the way. It was a mess i got here the kitchen was a mess i thought no maybe these people will like get themselves together they'll clean the kitchen throughout the through the weekend stuff like that was i not lying to myself was i not of course i did let me just put the specs away guys what do you think i just want to look pretty that's all okay i look better <laughs> throw in the the compliment yes i'm in the middle of doing this assignment thing guys it's just a mess i'm just playing along youtube music just to get myself going so like i said it was the hardest moments of my life mainly because of the sharing part yes i was coming from a place a long where i rented for myself i stayed in my apartment it was cute i did everything I I actually feel like I lived a soft life back home. It wasn't much, but I was so content with what I had. I had the best land. Can I call them landlords? They were like more like my parents. They were like the very, very best. Um, thanks so much for the love that you showed me, guys. And what else? My workplace, my, pre my previous workplace was like a slice of heaven for me, to be honest. It was like a slice of paradise for me. Learned a lot from the people and the team that I worked with. I was in the ER. It was so lovely. I love, loved it. And the people, they, they are amazing. They are like, oh my God. They are like, oof, what can I say? There was just this amazing team. Taught me a lot of stuff. I learned so much from them. And I'd like to say that was like a moment where i realized now i want to be in the er for like as long as i live in this career as long as i'm in this i want to work in the er and when i got here i was taken to a ward that i do not like i don't like bedside nursing to be honest with you i don't like it i just fell in love with er and i'm like i'm here to stay so when i got here it was just kind of a mess I was taken to acute medical unit. I was so fried. Fry, guys. I had to make appointments with the managers to tell them that I want to work in the ER. Of which they told me that the way I'm taken is more like ER. But I didn't want something that is more like ER. I wanted the actual ER. But they told me that I'll be able to be switched back to ER only after six months. That's if there's a post there and whatever about ER people. And then that's when I can go there. But still, in that, um, I went to work. There was a clinical placement that was done. I enjoyed it. I don't want to lie. It is definitely just like ER. It's like the trauma part of ER. Taking patients for triage, gives that doses, monitor. If ready to be discharged, then we can discharge the patients. Obviously, after doctors uh, have run all the tests and are sure what the patient is safe to go back to, to their places to their homes and then i fell in love with the water as, as a whole i i started open up to the place because obviously I, I had a lot of problems like literally guys there was a week from the bag because this girl does not like it when she is not liking what she's going through okay trust me to get myself out of situations that are not it for myself I literally packed all my clothes that week. I think it was the third week of December, if I'm not lying. I packed all my stuff. I packed all my stuff. When I say all my stuff, I mean all my stuff. 
and Nagi Smalaga Parilana from the bay because I was like, no ways, I'm going back home. I'm going back home. I was just at the verge of like sending my previous workplace an email to say I'm coming back. Is it my post is still is my post still available and stuff like that, you know? So I managed to talk to a couple of my friends who like were like, no, just to relax. Also talk to a couple of my my mom to be honest they're like no god did not take you that far to for you to be miserable trust the process of course maybe you are having a cultural shock you'll be fine my dad also my dad also was there to like you know speak my sense into my thick skull and honey when i'm saying i am loving it here i am loving it here i am in love with this place i am in love with this place because obviously you could be wrong no only no was someone at the top that yes maybe it was like a little more so i took it really joke i wouldn't get into one so and i also uh, got to hear about many opportunities say long for i can add advantage yeah for desire because i'm working for the nhs of course so that was just basically it and to be honest i am loving every moment of my life i'm like in the happiest place of my life at the moment because i've like i've prayed about it to be honest i prayed i had to pray, i had to like cry my eyes off to god to be like god i it's not make sure eh? I, I don't understand it's not make sure what's going on man just help me out oh my god i'm having an emotional breakdown so ever since I like involved God with literally everything that I do here, I'm not lying to you and I'm not saying it, it hello because I'm making a video and I'm trying to sound like I'm having things to just, you get what I'm saying? So I love it here. I have friends who have been here for like one my two years, one my three years. And to be honest, those are the ones by Long about they made me to have that motivation, like gave me the drive to like keep soaring higher and higher. And honestly, I can't wait to go ahead with the opportunities that I'm yet to. Because career-wise, babe, we are not only going to be registered nurses and that's it only. We're going to progress. That's it. The Lord wills. And that's on period, guys. This is just me going through my assignments and just going through the days. Through the day, I mean to say. So, I'm loving it here. I'm loving it here. It is just amazing. The people that I've met in class, the facilitators, the educators, oh my god, bliss. I think the highlight of my my time here was my trip to Northern Ireland. We went to Belfast and then from Belfast went to London Day, which is another part of the Northern Ireland. I went there to take my OSCE exam, of which I did not pass the initial test. So I Roads. Well, I'm in the verge of resitting it. It's not a big deal. I'm gonna. I'm gonna nail it. I'm gonna nail it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna nail it. Okay. So, got um to make new friends, learn different people's cultures, especially in class. I have beautiful, most sweet classmates. They like. Oh my god. You know, you just wake up and you feel like, you know, you wanna go to class because why not why not you're gonna meet the most beautiful bubbly people there and you just want to see all of that the weather yes was a bit of a mess here and there but we got used to we are getting used to it we are definitely getting used to it and man that's that's this is just it for the video to be honest nothing interesting nothing much but please make sure to give this video a thumbs up make sure to subscribe and put on your nose post notifications to get notified every time i post that's it let me get back to my assignment and i will catch you guys on the flip side you guys are the best you guys are the bomb you guys are definitely everything so thank you so much for tuning in you guys bye let us just take you at the back i'm gonna see you guys on another video that is coming up don't forget to even comment say just say send me a sweet message can you do that for me yes no maybe Let's do it. Pretty please. Bye. Just let me ride. You back to sleep, girl.
pinahe. Kita ibu layak pinahe. I'm at the middle of. Oh my god. Can't tell how like it's halfway through. It was a scam. Eh, lo que me sucedió con él. Rense recuano ya. Recuano. Yo.